can't wake up in the morning without drinking my decaf coffee. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what that means apart from, because there's no caffeine in it. I mean, there is a little caffeine in decaf, uh, but, but not enough. So I, I, I think it's more like my mind needs the, uh, the drink more than my body does. So uh, cheers, Fotis Mints, uh, on the other side of the world. Well, ha- you're, you're living in the future. Cheers to you. And welcome. Cheers, and thank you for inviting me here. It's a big honor to be here. And nah. yes, the world's still here in the future. In the future. So yes. hopefully we, we don't unwind the space-time continuum by, <laughs> no. by doing this. <laughs> no. If, uh, if the, I mean, it's possible. I've watched enough Star Trek to know that, you know, I, I don't know everything. And uh, have you been uh, keeping up on the new Star Trek shows? No, I I barely watch things that I even you know I'm a fan lately because there's no time when I go to you know to the bed I fall asleep <laughs> you know, I saw something I saw something you know to watch and after ten minutes I'm like dead. zonked just out yeah if you look at my Plex server you know all movies are like ten minutes ten minutes ten minutes <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's that's a good problem to have because now. There's almost, I mean, I remember a time, it wasn't that long ago when there just wasn't enough that was happening, enough to, to pay attention to. And now it seems like you can't even, you it's can't crazy. even, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's so overwhelming. You so can't keep up now. You can't keep up. Yeah, I, like, I, I haven't watched the whole Mandalorian yet. You ha- Okay. <laughs> This no. is over, by the way. Photos Mint. See this, you. Nice to meet over. you. Bye bye. It's very nice to talk to you because you need to go and you need to watch the Mandal. You have to promise me. My I favorite, haven't. my favorite mint, my favorite yeah. mint, Photos Mint has not seen the Mandalorian. That's the, even even Brit, Sith Lord Brit saying, end the stream. Like we have to. <laughs> uh, Bo- Boba Fett didn't even start it yet. Yeah, well, Boba Fett, you could you could probably wait on the Mandalorian is just it's it, I mean it's good watching, but I, I, you know I hear you, it's uh... actually you're gonna be jealous because you know Disney Plus comes in June in Greece. Well, I could watch it anyway, but since Disney Plus comes, I will watch everything now, you know, fresh, and you already see right, it. Right. So you're jealous. I am kind of jealous actually the people that have not yet <laughs> seen the shows that I've seen. Cause it was like, Oh, that moment where you just like, so what I'll do is I like, um, with, with my family, I'll try to watch an episode of something beforehand. If I know that they may watch it so that I kind of know what's coming up. And then I watch, instead of watching the show at those moments, I look at them, I watch them. And it's just as exciting to watch their <laughs> reactions to something yeah. as it is to you react to it. The, you know, the first time. So that's how I do yeah. relive those moments. Uh, we're, we're, by the way, uh, we are, we are, I'm going to, I'm not, normally I'd say we're geeking out with someone talking about 3d printing and, 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 in in this whole sphere, the space, but today we're, we're greeking out. And so this, this broadcast is going to be in both Greek and English. Uh, that's, Acri- Acrivos. Acrivos. this is, it's, this is exactly, that's exactly <laughs> what I said. That's, that's precisely <laughs> what I said. Kind of. I tal, know. Tal es para uh, a little bit, but I was hoping to put a little cream on it and was hoping that it would clear up. <laughs> okay, I, I'm going to stop. <laughs> no, no. Actually, I need to tell you, I had in, in the, uh, um, it was in the uh, uh, the sixth, no, yeah, fifth grade? Sixth grade, I can't, in the sixth grade, I had to do a book report, like a big report in school on a country in my country, like you had to like draw from a hat and whoever got the, you, you chose your favorite country. And originally my, my ancestors, I'm from, I'm from Italy. Like my, my bloodline. I, right? I know you're so, a neighbor. I am next door neighbor. Really? Uh, basically we're the same. And, uh, uh, I, uh, and so I, uh, and I know my daughter is Italian cause she loves Dolma as much as I do all the Mediterranean foods. Um, yeah. Olives, uh, uh, you know, um, Doma, pasta, pasta. pasta. You hate well, pizza. <laughs> I, yeah, you know, I don't, I, yeah, I can't eat pineapple on pizza. That's an abomination. Um, but uh, I did. Uh, so originally, I wanted to pick Italy, and then and and someone else got Italy, and like, ah, what am I going to do? I'm like, so I, cl- I chose the next best thing, Greece. So I chose <laughs> Greece as my book report, and I still have this book report. 
I put that, this is when I learned that I'm not ever to procrastinate. So uh, I I did the book, or I, I, I put it off and I put it off and I put it off. The day before it was due, like the day before, I, I thought, what am I going to do? I, I haven't done it. So I ran away from home. I, I packed <laughs> a backpack and I ran away. From, I'm not joking. S- true story. Bad so boy. <laughs> I, I was. And so the, the, so my parents, they came they found, I mean, a friend saw me and they, they came. It wasn't like, it was, in, I, I ran away to some like backwood. It was in Iowa, in the middle of the, the United States, like in, in a farm country. And, uh, uh, and, and my parents said, okay, well, you know, you should have gotten it done. You should have planned ahead. Here's what we're going to let you do. You can stay at home. You can call a sick day tomorrow, but you're going to work. And so I wrote, I had to write 15 pages, right? And this is back because you didn't have word processors or typewriters really to use back then when I was in the, yeah. history. and I, I, so I had, I, you had to have 15 note cards and 15, but you had to have a certain, and so I did it all in <laughs> one day one oh day my God. and oh my uh God. <laughs> I, st- I still there's very few assignments that i kept i kept that i should have pulled it out so i did i did a book report on greece that's that's as much as i i knew about it uh <laughs> and what you remember from it <laughs> it no. was nightmarish it was great i mean it was uh it was it was fun uh but uh, yeah that was my that was my first encounter with with greece it wasn't exactly as nice as talking to you so thank you for spending yeah, your definitely. time. <laughs> I appreciate it. Cheers. I've got oh, some water just in case. The pleasure is all mine, man. Seriously. This is just a conversation. If everybody, and I, I assume because I'm looking at, at chat here, um, people are surprised. Because I don't think I've, I may have told that story before, but I don't know if anybody here um, knew about it. Wexter, by the way, is trolling you. Uh, so Always. Uh, yes. I mean, if, if he wasn't here trolling me, I would just leave. Uh, no, I love it. I love it. No I wasn't continuing. sure if he, going to be able to make it y'all i mean it's it's great because we we live on different sides of the planet and yet i, I feel we have so much in common um yeah. and, and not just a, a love for for 3d printing if those for the, the few of you who are out there who do not know photos mint uh he I, i'm gonna say artist and you may not like that word uh i mean some people like, i don't know if you see no, I, 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 yeah, okay, I, I, I believe i am because yeah. <laughs> i see it as art it really is the the digital sculpting is 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 something that is incredibly um it, it's transformative in the sense that you can now take something in your head push it through pixels on a screen and then you know hours later produce this object and i think it's 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 wonderful that you've tapped into that skill that you had and 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 just you you've honed it and continued to hone it and continue to do so to perfect it and even even if it was even if you were half as skilled and this is a compliment by the way even if you were half as skilled you would you would still be helping people produce these these printed objects that they otherwise would not be able to be holding in their hands so hats off to you and thank you uh, for, yeah, I mean, this is the helping. magical thing with uh, with three D printing. I mean, if you're just if you were a clay artist, you can share your art with everybody. What we do, we can share it with endless people. It, it you know, endless. When the STL is out there, endless people can print it, and that's that's the beauty of it. I think it's powerful. Right? I mean, it, yeah. it, it, it's very powerful, and um, so I'm grateful that you. Uh, that you're doing what you're doing. And I know I'm not the only one to, to say that. Uh, when I first, uh, I guess, stumbled into this scene a little over a year ago, uh, yours was one of the names that people were saying right away, like Photos, Mint, Photos. All right, let's check this out. And so they were right. Uh, so uh, thank you for, for, for doing that. I, I appreciate it. Thank and, you and I, for the kind words, man. Seriously. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, honestly, it's, and I would not, I, 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 uh, I wouldn't say that I I'm, I'm, certainly to you if i didn't believe that uh just you know with full transparency because uh you know i'll, I'll talk to a great many people but uh, if i believe something I'll, I'll that's my my italian nature is to be very direct when i have a chance to be direct and to put it out there and just here it is so well, also if i didn't you know like what you do i wouldn't be here right now i mean i told you earlier i am having so much fun when i i managed to to attend your streams because you know the time difference is chaotic but 
seriously, this whole uh, crowd, the American crowd, really changed my mind. I'm feeling so good. I have so much so, fun. I, I, I smile. I smile again. I, I haven't been smiling for a long time. You know, so, I, I, I want to yes. unpack that. I want to unpack that. So, I reached a point in what I did years ago where I just felt like I was, I was drained. I was, I was not inspired. I was not having fun, and yeah. it was hard for me to be have that motivation. So I've been through that. It sounds like you, you, you've been through that. If not going through it, and 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 have found some bit of respite or a uh, you know an outlet in finding that joy again somehow definitely i it, was it, i tell you i was this close to quit i was this close you know the hand happened my psychology was flat bottom you know it was it was very very bad for me i was i was not a good company to have around it was dark i was had picking fights with people i was i was very 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 weird but uh yeah i believe that things happen you know this ex especially the last month i mean i'm like <laughs> i you know i i have a smile again this is and i can't believe i was missing this whole thing you know just because of the time difference and uh i was going to bed around 12. well i i stay up a lot later now that's that's what the only thing that <laughs> i wish i could you know evade but sorry i can <laughs> yeah i can you know, there's no other way you know to experience that so this is why when i say to americans can you please stream a couple of hours later it's different to you know go on the stream at 4 a.m right and 2 a.m 2 a.m is you know it's, it's normal but 4 a.m come on you yeah, know it's, I it's very I, I, I'm curious. So, so it was this seemingly when you talk about the Americans in, in this scene. Are you talking specifically Twitch, like this this whole idea of live or? Uh, to clarify this, okay, I yeah. know I know for a fact, you know, because I'm in this thing for uh, six, seven years. I have statistics, okay, and I know that my crowd is 89, 90 percent USA. Ah. That ten percent is European, okay. But imagine having a crowd that's mostly American and you don't appear anywhere where America right, is. Right. So it sucks, you know. When I when I first appeared in a chat room in uh, in these tweet streams and I I see people recognize me, I was like, wow, people know me here. So yeah. I have to stay, I have to stay here, you know, because it's 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 nice. I like to speak with them. I like to interact with people. So. I really, I really look forward to keep doing that, but I have to find a way to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, it, it will. Uh, I tell you, you find, you find your group. Like I, I, when I, so, so let me. I'll give you some context. I was live streaming on the internet um, back in two thousand six, two thousand seven. So I've been doing live streams for a long time. I didn't get into Twitch until like maybe a year or so ago. Uh, when I was starting to do it every day, because I needed something to do, because I, I kind of felt the same. Like you know, I, I I kept, I wasn't motivated. I wasn't finding. I had an outlet, and I was like, let me try live streaming again. Let me try it on Twitch. And so it worked out uh, such that I was able to find, you know, my groove again. Uh, yeah. It's it's it, it, it and and you kind of find that uh, you know, watching streams and interacting with people, it, it'll come in waves. Right. Sometimes it's it's it, you, you do it a lot. Sometimes you do it just a little. Uh, but, you know, I'm glad that you've been able to find uh, a, a new way of connecting your passion with. Oh, sorry about what the heck. Just why did my camera just flip to my print that is done? Well, there's my print that's done. It's not Lego uh, time yet. Uh, it is not. No, I <laughs> Like apparently, no, I'm not joking. My the phone. My, yeah, I, you know, for a moment I got scared. I'm like, oh my god, my dreams uh, crashed. I, I, no, I see Chris I, still. I, <laughs> I I don't I don't I I seriously this is like I don't know what happened, but give me a, <laughs> I my camera just like decided. <laughs> This is why you have back. Okay, give me a second. I have to. Uh, I have to try to do this in the in the middle of here. Let's zoom out. There we go. Okay, so I'm yeah, gonna try good, to figure good. out how to 
Oh, you look better now. You look younger. Uh, Give me a second. This is why I always have backups. Have backups. Always have a backup. So, theoretically. Okay. Well, we have all the good people in the chat. Thank you. Oh, my God. I have the chat there, and I can't see it. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I, like... I do not. I literally do not know what happened. It that's just it just the, it my it's like my camera my camera just ceased to exist. So it's give me okay. a second. It's okay. At Don't least worry. you can see me. Well, yeah. welcome to live. When you're live, we, you've got to go having, with the flow. You're just having you know you you having your morning. I'm having my drink. It's yeah, it's okay. You know I uh, um I'm uh, I'm glad I'm not on caffeine. That's for sure. Because I'd be like, what is going on? <laughs> Uh, no, but, okay, so now cheers. that we're past that technical snag, cheers. Here, I can drink either, here, I need more club soda. Um, I, uh, I'm glad that you found a way to, uh, reconnect and rekindle your passion and your interest around those supporters that you were able to find or have been able to find on, um, on, uh, uh well, on Twitch or beyond, I, you know, any of these live experiences. So it's not like support. I, I want to call it supporters. I mean, I just I, I made thirty people this month, maybe more. I, I have no idea. I, I didn't know them, and you know, with Maker Deck and here and right in Bridgestream or in uh, who else? I don't know. I, right. I, I just speak with people. You know, you you meet people. Some of them become supporters out of nowhere. I mean, it's. <laughs> It's great. It's great. I I was missing all that. You know, I was only attending streams. I was only attending streams where you will see an unboxing. I mean, come on. You've already seen it. Yeah, there's no fun in that. (laughs) But here it's fun. I mean, you walk on Legos. Perfect. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's all good. You can do it. I drop I drop them all the time. My daughter, my favorite thing sometimes is when I when I when I drop an F bomb. And uh, and my daughter repeats it, and then my wife gets mad. I'm like, "Well, would you rather her learn it from me or somebody else?" <laughs> so uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's that's not a problem. Um, I do it all the time. Fuck, there. Now you don't feel bad. We both oh, done come it. On. We're, now come on, I gotta make you feel at home, man. This is like okay, okay, okay. I gotta okay, make you, you feel warm and welcome. Um, so I, so if I'm understanding this, if you'll allow me to 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 kind of synthesize what you're saying it's the connection that you're making with people that has kind of brought about this uh uh a rekindle this this you know the happiness you know just this this feeling of yeah because with when you're people. yeah because when you're disconnected with people you see all the negatives you don't see the positives right i mean i was i was hearing things for people that i never met or i never spoke to and i was like oh this guy's you know but that wasn't true. That was just a gossip. I mean, if you don't speak to someone, you will never know how they really are. Yeah. And uh, yeah, well, I was that- I was in this maze of negativity for a long time, and right now, right now, I, I'm telling you, I I, I don't want to jinx it because you know next month I could be like, right, I right, right. I don't, I don't want I don't want that seriously. I really don't. You know, it's uh, uh, one of the things that that excites me, I guess, the most about live streaming or let me go. I'll I'll go a step further. I'll say even social media is that I can I can make connections with other people. I can share my passions and interests and I don't have to. Not everybody has to like me. I don't care. Like I'm not, you know, I, I can go to sleep at night when when someone's not. I learned that lesson early on. Um, you know, that you can't make everybody happy. And as long as I, as my, when my head hit, hits the pillow, I feel I've done everything I could do and maybe brought some joy into somebody else's life. I just one, you know, just, you know, I held the door open for yeah. someone. Okay. I knew yeah. they were happy. That's all. It doesn't take much small moves. Um, you know, at the older I get, the more I recognize that's something that makes it, uh, uh, it makes it easier to, to, to find the, the, the smaller joys throughout the day yeah. also i want to add that if you didn't do make your deck there's a possibility i wouldn't be like that right now you know really just just, just they, yeah i mean i mean just take a look at it okay you're you're not me okay you're somebody else and you're uh 
just hanging there working, don't speak to anybody, blah, blah, blah. There's Maker Deck that when you don't have anybody to talk to, you just go there and have a laugh. Right. We didn't have that. We only had Twitter, which would end up in a drama situation or something. But this, you know, you go in, you chat, you 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 you, you have a conversation with people that, that they have the same interests with you. Right. I mean, that's very important. So it's a very, yeah, I think that sure. this thing helped a lot. Even for me to, you know, to start speaking to people I didn't, I never knew before. I mean, I didn't know you. Yeah, I, I just, know. It's okay. Yeah, I just, yeah, I didn't know you. I was just once in a time, I, you know, we, I, you bring in some right. of my models, we exchange right. one word or two, and that's it. But now I'm here with you because of all this whole thing, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's very good. It's nice. I, uh, um, Thank you, first of all. Thank you. It, you know, we uh, when um, when we had thought about putting Maker Deck together, <clears throat> it, it it hadn't been done in that kind of way before. I mean, the high idea of like multiple people making at the same yeah. time. So we we really weren't sure. Even when I was going after uh, for feedback, weren't sure how anybody was going to react. And and honestly, we still don't know what's going to come of everything that's there today because it's it's like you don't know what it is yet we don't we it's really like facebook don't. on 2009 <clears throat> seven right. whatever yeah you right. don't know what it is yet so i i i've really uh, very much enjoyed hearing i mean certainly having having your support and having the support of so many people uh in the way the way i look at it because it's very uh, it's very it's a very manual process to manage what's going on like someone has to be constantly looking in the background um moving things around changing things adding people removing people and that was true this morning what happened was i got busy with something and liz had told me hey can you watch maker deck i'm like yeah sure and then i forgot and so liz comes back and says there's only three people on the screen and like seven people in the background I'm like oh crap it was like <laughs> i know and i'm like but then i'm like maybe now people understand it's it's a manual thing it's like someone has to watch it and with a stream that's going 24 7. yeah there's responsibility so, in it. there is in it. it's it's not auto or you know just working there yeah i mean you people running it i think it's 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 like having a job i mean it, so many people get in get out all the time it's it is it's challenging uh, for sure it's, it's a task and so uh i I, I know I appreciate it. I know I, I know the rest of the team appreciates it. I know everyone appreciates it when you say things uh, or just you just enjoy it. If, even if you're just there, just enjoy it. You don't even have to say anything. It's very appreciated. So I, I'm, I'm glad that that could uh, have, um, uh, again, kind of become a bright spot for you. Because otherwise, you, you, you know, not doing something. Yeah, well, I will be streaming too. I'm just waiting for my boy Charo to get uh new people Fords we ordered that has a camera inside so we stream all the time you know it also has infrared Ooh, it will stream at night <laughs> wait are you <laughs> saying so you're saying you're gonna stream Resident on maker prints. deck on maker deck yeah sure we're gonna do it i'm just sure. waiting the printer now yeah yeah because wow i mean streaming resin with the red uh cover you won't see anything. So when that thing, and we managed to connect it, you know, to right. Twitch and anything, right. you can see this, the resin print from the inside the printer. So this wow. is what we wait. I mean, next That's month, gonna be cool. at some point, it's going to, it's going to be very cool. This is what, this is what I'm waiting. I don't, you know, I don't print a lot of FDM. I, I don't, I really don't. So this, this is what we were, you know, share in make your deck, uh, next That's month, great. probably. What, yeah. I, I'm ser seriously. I I'm not. I promise not to bug you about it until it happens. Because <laughs> I, I mean, that's that, no. Uh, my favorite mint. We always. I, I I've joked with you about that. It's true. Uh, like you've you've been, uh, uh, uh you know, a, a great person uh, to talk to. You've you've and I you've you've even shared a couple of ideas with me. Just and you say, hey, you know, do you mind? I'm like I love getting feedback. I you know I and you can ask. People like Liz who have known me for 10 years, like someone can give me feedback and I'm like, okay, let me try to accommodate. Let's see, does that make sense? Because I don't see, I don't see it all, right? I don't see everything. I, I can't possibly see everything. So Nobody can, um, see that. Nobody can do that, seriously. 
Nobody. Uh, and that's something that, you know, the, the people that haven't had a chance to, um, I guess, try something that could elicit or get feedback from people don't necessarily know how to take feedback in without if feeling like it's an affront being offended because someone had a different idea about what to uh, what to do with something but i'm i'm just the opposite i'm like i may have an idea about where something's going to go but you know i appreciate oh, the feedback and the ideas you know bouncing back and forth because you yeah, never know just, what's going to just come. an idea just an idea is always welcome i mean if you're not you know just pushy pushy and you know oh do that do that no i i don't like people do that but if i just give you an idea and it's good yeah of course you will you will do it i mean if that's, it improves if, if it improves the things you do but that's yeah. the thing is like i you know part of um <clears throat> part of the maker deck project was just trying something different trying something new seeing if if it could work and um it hasn't i guess um it's not without challenges but there i told liz early on i'm like we have good problems these are good problems to have and in any kind of endeavor whether you're you know doing like uh, okay so for example uh if you've ever run into an issue with your modeling uh maybe you didn't know how to do something right and i mean because you know you're always yeah, i yeah, imagine yeah. you're always learning that's and you want to be able to do something that's a good problem to have because it could push you to try yeah. something different or tr learn we always, something new. We always learn every day. Every day we learn something new. You don't. Not, there's nobody on this planet knowing 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 everything except you. That's a. Um, <laughs> it, the older you get, the more you understand that. Yeah. It is true. It is. But very for Maker true. Deck, you know, for Maker Deck, it could be so many things we don't know yet. It could be networking, for example. Oh, it Let's is. Let's say there are two yeah. people. There are two people in the same city, and they for a business out of nowhere you don't know that you know they just well, <laughs> join forces and do a printing service or whatever yeah. you don't know that we didn't have this opportunity before i mean you would have to go yeah discord is very you know is very helpful but still sometimes people are same to speak in discord you know i feel that many times you know i get direct messages instead of having a, a question in public right right but in my right. deck i don't see that i see suggestions all the time i see um comments ideas uh, people meet each other it's very very you know it's very community you know very yeah organic it's, it's, yeah it's a little more you know you're a little shy to speak in in this world especially in huge servers you're really right. scared to speak. right well the uh i i tell you you know and I've, this has happened to me before because, I mean, I'm no stranger to doing chat rooms on the Internet. But uh, we, we will know that Maker Deck has made it when not that it happens, you know, or that's the idea. Yeah, networking. Yes. But when two people meet, fall in love and get married, that happened in uh, the one of the first chat rooms that I set up on the internet like people fell in a couple of people fell in love and they got married and they're still together to this day <laughs> because of my chat room so, it does happens. i'm telling yeah. you not in a, yes. not in the bad not because that's you know what it's there for but you just you you get to know people and just organically you don't have to direct message you just get to know them you just it, and you just, it, it goes from there so that's yeah, that's and, how we and know so much more than that because it's it's something that all the people in it has same interests it's not like it went on Tinder or something. Right. You know, you know that people there like the same things you like, and that's that's priceless. I mean, that's 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 something you don't find. Well, often. but that you know, that's I, I think that to me is the uh, okay. So you have you have a solid place in when I say community in the community, as in people who. Are Let's just say in this side of the community because there well, are many, many like bubbles huge, around us. Right? Yeah. So, so that, but you've got a place. Like people can say, Photos Mint, this is what Photos Mint does. Chris, yeah. and when I, you know, me, I was like, well, I, I do Twitch and I'm on Twitter, but like there's nothing that I, I had something that I can say I'm a part of. And that was, it was always in the back of my mind. And so in, in ideating MakerDeck, and 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 laying that foundation 
was I feel my this is where I feel like my place is in that that overarching bubble yeah <clears throat> you know for for makers and or uh 3d printing or just that that, that entire because you're right like it's many bubbles like intersecting it's <clears throat> that's very much how community works so um, yeah, there are so many social media i mean you see different community in facebook different in twitter different in youtube different here and uh it's all connecting somehow with some groups and everything it's 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 very weird i mean i from artists and designers perspective it's not that wide but people have their preferences some people prefer facebook some people prefer twitter some instagram oh, yeah. so they're not all gathered in one place and this is why it's so you know saturated right now it's it's weird well that's it's uh, it's a matter of platform fragmentation uh yeah. which is both good and bad it's hard to i think one of the bigger challenges at least for doing anything like on twitch is that discoverability is a, is a is a potential problem but the same thing is is true on just about any social platform discoverability getting found and sometimes yeah. you, you'll see people active on twitter or maybe even doing live video on on youtube that have no interest with doing live video on twitch i'm like but even watching like it's a live video where does it matter where the live video is happening if it's Honestly, the live video. They, they, this is weird yeah this um i love twitch i love twitch because in, i believe that the interaction with people is a hundred times better youtube looks old it somehow does. yeah it does yeah <laughs> and not easy. and not improved at all it's the same thing for years i mean i'm so bored of youtube but here we can have so much fun with you know trains and bits and blah blah and stickers and you know all these things that doesn't exist in YouTube. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, YouTube has its purpose. It's you know it's a revenue. Uh, you know it's a way. I mean, if you have a channel that has two hundred thousand or hundred thousand subscribers, you can just abandon it to come on Twitch. But uh, I think that Twitch has a great future for makers. Really? I mean, they even changed the categories now. They didn't have yeah, 3D printing true. categories. They didn't have makers, crafts, and, and that stuff. And now you see many people streaming on Twitch. I didn't see anybody streaming on Twitch before. They all stream on YouTube. But now if you just go look all day and follow them, you'll see 10, 15 people streaming every day. So I think there's a future there for people that, you know, do this because I don't do that. I don't have the face or, you know, the energy or, I, or I, your well, energy. I, I disagree. <laughs> you, hey, you've, got, you've got a beard that only I oh, can okay. dream of having. I, I wish I had <laughs> you beard goals right there. This man. is the only That's thing cool. you need to do streaming a beard. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it. That's all you need is a beard. That's it. No, no, no. I don't have, you know, the spark that needs to, to run a, a show like, for example, what you do, for example, I, I don't have that. And honestly, I don't know if I want to have that. <laughs> I prefer it's, to do other things. You know, but that's the thing is, is that you, you know, you have, you have, you don't have to do everything in, a, in order to enjoy the same thing. Like I don't have to, I don't have to model to enjoy what someone else has modeled that I can print. I don't necessarily have to, you know, uh, um, you know, that's, enjoy, go ahead. Just understand how weird I am. I mean, they tell me, why don't you stream while you sculpt? And I'm like, it's a personal moment. <laughs> this is my answer. I, I don't like streaming live. I don't like sculpting live. Yeah. I like to, you know, have my drink or whatever and put some music on and sculpt by myself. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do the same job if I also speak with audience and right. chat and whatever. Right. I, I, I'm I definitely not doing that. And also, there are artists that are a hundred times better than me to watch. So what's the point? You know, I uh, so I mean, live streaming for me has always been different. I always uh, I always look at, but, but I'm not anything that I do. Like the most activity that I did, you know, I was putting together, you know, the Muppets Lego minifigures last night on my on my stream. They, they I love Lego minifigures. So, 
I was putting them together. And even that was taking so much of my attention. And that's just putting together a few Lego bricks. So I know, you know, in doing something that a, a lot more uh, mentally uh, taxing, like doing anything on a computer screen, uh, could potentially take away from the ability to engage. Like even now, I'm watching chat and I'm seeing what people are saying, but I'm still very much paying attention to you because the, the focus of what people are tuning into is our interaction. But normally yeah. when I'm streaming, it's like, well, my interaction is going to be with someone who's in chat and, and talking back and forth and back and forth, which was one of the reasons why when I stream, because I'm streaming later tonight as well, like 6 p.m. Pacific, you'll be in bed or you should be in bed. I'll try uh, to be there. Why not? Be <laughs> because... Uh, you know, oh, man, I, sleeping is sleeping is overrated. It's for the week. Oh man! Oh <laughs> God! You are young. You are young. You are young. Uh, I'm not. I'm not uh, that young. I wish. I wish I was. No, no, no. When you get when you turn 49, then you can say, yeah, because I'm going to turn you. 39 really soon. So yeah. Well, then congratulations on that. Uh, yeah. you're still younger than I am. Maybe one day you'll catch up. Um, yeah, but I told you, I, if if I look like you when I'm 49, I'm gonna be happy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, here, the, like I said, and I told you, the secret is stay indoors. Like, don't go out in the sun. I uh, do that. You know, drink drink water. Sure, coffee had worked for me that. as well. Uh, I I grab a good beer if I can. You know, I, I maybe yeah, that's this gonna. Is, this is water, right? Sure, yeah. it's water. Yeah, and, and well, this is definitely water. The, this is definitely <laughs> coffee. Um, <laughs> uh, whatever works, uh, you'll, you'll be fine. Um, no, yeah. but I, I, uh, I find that my favorite part of, of live streaming is interacting. So I, that's, I'm not saying that's an, that's not an art at all. It's just, that's what I enjoy. That's my, that's the thing that I enjoy doing because I like talking with people. Yeah. I like chatting. I like interacting and communicating. So doing a conversation like this, like a one-on-one -on -one kind of conversation and everyone has a chance to kind of be a fly on the wall is uh i mean it's just different but it's fun it, this this is fun for me for me too <laughs> well yeah hopefully it's thought, not stressful i never about. thought no i'm i'm uh, uh yeah i'm i'm having good time yeah i was nervous before but now i'm i'm fine i think you're I'm in fine. your group I'm, I'm also not looking at the chat you know wakes oh yeah yeah no the, yeah. the the chat i kind of get used to i i get i get used to watching or accustomed to watching and sometimes you have to uh, you learn how to you learn how to read chat. It, it, it's let me tell you, that's a skill to be able to to do a live stream, to watch chat, to drive a show. You have to. There's a it's a delicate balance between. Yeah, it's you know, weird. I don't think I got that. You know, <laughs> no. I you know it it, it uh, it's it's something that I I like. Uh, so I've got a daughter. I've got a child. And she, uh, I don't think you've met her yet, but uh, when she has a chance, she'll jump on or she'll jump in front of the camera and she'll, she'll see chat and she'll see how I interact. So my hope is one day my daughter will have her own live stream talking about one thing or another, probably Minecraft or something like that. That's 100%, you know, I, I believe it's 100%. I mean, all kids stream this. I mean, if your yeah. kid doesn't stream, that's 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 a dumb shame. Yeah. What, what are you What are you doing as a parent if your kid's not streaming? Like they have to what? If your kid is not gaming, streaming, like it's these are these are norms, right? And I guess when I grew yeah. up, we we didn't we didn't even have. I mean, well, I grew up largely pre-internet, so I didn't have. Um, uh, Me too. You know, a lot of. Uh, a lot of those the, the creature comforts and you'd have been okay so you'd be about 10 years behind so i got i got on the internet for the first time in 1992 so there was just text there was really no graphics at all so to to kind of grow DOS. up with the internet yeah dos lar largely dos days and uh you know so now you know just the idea that i'm using a i'm using a smart this is a smartphone camera that i'm using as the webcam since my my other one just decided to go yeah i'm done i don't even i don't even know what the heck happened to it um it's me, it's always, me. I, i'm the black hat it was you <laughs> how dare you yeah. how'd you do that yeah, yeah bring palpatine i think it, yeah, me i think it was your beard honestly i don't think that my 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 setup here is not used to so much beard like <laughs> it's in, not in that one... big man you yeah know, but it Puts doesn't matter say, i saved it for puts this january you know really you you don't know that 
Seriously. You no. Know, you, you, you didn't see that tweet. Uh-uh, I missed that. Okay, so 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 my buddy Joe Casa was having uh, the, the Sanjay uh, stream for, uh, you know, they were raising money for yes, the Sanjay yes, Foundation. Yes, I have caught that, yep. And, and I did the mistake to say <laughs> about this thing was about the end. I was like, uh, the, the, the next one that will uh, donate 300 bucks, I will save my beard. And Poots donated 300 bucks. <laughs> So you leak. I next day I, I shaved half my face. Oh. And I, I straight. I, yeah, I have a photograph on Twitter. Wow. <laughs> I've done similar things like that. Like I'll, I'll, I don't mind like putting myself out there. Uh, you know, for, for for doing something wacky that I might otherwise not do. It, but it would be a bigger challenge for me to grow a beard than it would be to shave it because I don't. My beard comes in. It just. It's not. It doesn't look. My if my yeah. beard grew like this. On top of my, I'd be perfect. I'd be gold. Like if my beard grew like this. Well, if you want, we can trade because here I have no hair, you know? So, yeah. Why is that? Why? How does that work? I don't know, man. Seriously. <laughs> I have hair here, not here. I, can you explain that? I, you know, I, I don't think I can. I, I you know, I, I certainly couldn't from my Italian roots. I, I don't, I don't understand all, all that goes, but uh, well, it was for a good cause. And now there's. They're, what is the they're doing a uh, a drive to get people to print the little um the little pieces to to get put together um mm -hmm. for Sanjay I believe there's a a new drive that's happening where there's you can send your uh the the, the these printed pieces uh in to a like a you know someone I think I don't know that yeah it's How it's it's, it's that? It, it, I mean it just ha I think it just happened this past week someone in chat might be able to pop a link in there but I did catch that 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 hit my pardon me hit my radar this week so i didn't see that but you know always do stuff for if it's for the good cause yep i'm fine you know we've we've done 24 hour streams same did not me saying <laughs> 24 hour streams we were all there you know 24 hours you know 24 hours a week oh man it's, camera no i did yeah. uh the closest people do that on twitch all the time they call them subathons I debated doing something like that on my 50th birthday next year. I don't know if I want to do it this year because it takes a lot. Uh, and the older you get, the harder it is. I if you want, if you want to help, I can, you know, I can just jump in. You want, when you when you're trying, to, you know, when you're going down, just, just fall asleep. Just, I can jump in. Just just put on glasses and you could be me, basically. Like, hi, I'm Chris. Yeah, I, 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 I have to lose. I, I have to lose, you know, 40 kilos for that. But yeah, yeah, sure. yeah it's easy. Just just you know. <laughs> That's it's, it's yeah. so easy. Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> put on it. Put on a new. Put on a Star Wars shirt, and you're good. Uh, yeah, a cloak. Yeah, exactly. Put on a put on a Sith or a Jedi robe, as long as it's comfortable, and you're good. So I wouldn't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna be an excellent Sith. You could do it. I think you could pull it off. It's 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 the hardest part about being a Sith is the voice. It's just is you gotta you gotta like. Oh, the, that, that, no, I can't do that. I sound like a Smurf. No, you um, sound like a Smurf, dude. Listen to me. You you hear me, right? Like this is like the squeaky helium. Yeah, but when balloon. you imitate, you know, Palpatine, it's like I'm hearing him. So what do you mean? I I don't imitate Pat. That is Emperor Palpatine lives here. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, Yeah, I don't. I, I do not. I exposed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I did not. <laughs> no, there's there's no exposure for for a little while. Uh, he was Emperor Perillo Teen for Ooh. for a brief while. Uh, yeah, and, and then it was just pal. I don't know. It's it's, 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 just, it's a very un <laughs> I will say this. It's a very uncomfortable tunic. It's made of wool, so it's very scratchy. Oh, it's, very, it's, it's hot. It's yeah. It's like wearing a hair shirt. It gets very warm, very very warm. Yeah, incredibly warm. Um. But yeah. Um, so what you know, I, I gotta ask. In, in terms of uh, uh, what you do to unwind, is, is Twitch your new way of kind of unwinding and just letting your mind kind of go and float away and just kind of enjoy that moment? Hanging out, chatting. There are two things. Yeah, I hang out in Discord. I hang out in Twitch. I hang out by myself with music. Of mm -hmm. course, that's the main. Thing that Metallica, right? Metall naturally, Metallica, naturally. Always, always, yeah. Because you and, are the master uh, of puppets. No, oh. I'm the puppet, but it's okay. Oh. <laughs> 
but yeah, so you're this not is, this you're are... not my master. That's what you're saying. No, I'm not. You're, you're too not... cool to be for me to be your master. So okay, fine. You're, you're too cool. Here we go. There's... So you listen to Metallica and other music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, this these are the ways you know to relax a bit. You know, chat with people, see you, and have a laugh. And you make me laugh on my. You know, it's 4 a.m. My wife sleeps, and I'm like <laughs> downstairs. It's like sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I'm I really had fun with that, but uh, I have my you know boys in Discord. I'm having chats many nights with Wexter, with with Fred, with lots of people, with Charo. I have you know I have so many friends and nobody's here. That's Isn't that so funny? Weird. Isn't that yeah, funny though? So weird. So I mean, weird, man. I, I think because um, I, I can't go you, grab a beer with them, and that yeah, sucks. Yeah. That's the only thing that yeah. sucks, you know. I, you know, I, uh, I feel that like strongly because when I do my Twitch stream, I, 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 the way I kind of in my head, I don't, I've never been someone to necessarily go out after work, going out for drinks, or going into a pub. In hanging out it's just it wasn't my thing i've had friends but it wasn't something i did twitch when i do twitch is very much like hey i just want to talk i don't know what we're going to talk about just want to hang out it's very much like that um you know hanging out having a beer with people just here's my beer i'm drinking a beer and let's just here's what's going yeah, on sometimes i just want to meet some people just have a, a real beer i mean it does get happen. Drunk, get drunk, do stupid things and stuff. You know, you, now, uh, re yeah, I, really, I really want to do that. We, well, we will, we will do that soon. I mean, in 15 days, I'm going to Prague and I'm meeting Wexter. I'm meeting lots of people there. So wait, what, is there, is there an event happening or is it just a. Well, make your first, it was. It, make your first was about to happen and it was canceled, but okay. we already booked. So we're going anyway. Oh. <laughs> we will meet. Wow. I'll meet my boy. I with my boy Joe Casa there. Wexter, Fred. I everybody's gonna be there, and I'm excited for that. I I mean I know these guys for four five years, and I never you know met them in person, and now we're gonna meet. Wow! That's, so this is gonna be the the, the the first time you're meeting in person. First, first, yeah. I'm wow. gonna be Shane. I'm gonna meet, I'm gonna meet Joe Prusa. You know. Wow. You're, so it's like you're yeah, I'm bringing... Gonna try, I'm going to try to stream from there in Make Your Deck or something with my phone. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good luck. possible. Wait, you, you mean <laughs> yeah. it, it, inside the Prusa, the, the, the farm of the factory farm of all those... All the I don't know. I, I don't know about that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. If that's happening. <laughs> yeah, but uh, well, I'm going to meet all these guys there. That's wild. That's, that's for sure. Yeah, that's That's, that's wild. Great. That's, because, you know, it canceled, but we already had our tickets. I mean, so, yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's a mini fair. So is everyone that you, you mentioned, uh, are they all, are y'all in Europe or European countries, that side of the world? Yeah, we're all European, except uh, uh, two or three people are coming from the U.S. also, because they're already booked. So yeah, yeah. These coming anyway. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be. I, I still don't know what I'm, what we're what we're do. I mean, if you lose track of me for a but, month, it means it all went really it would, really bad. No, no, it means it went well. <laughs> like you're 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 just cavorting across Prague, going just you're doing wacky things. You, you never yeah. know. That, but see, that's the best part is not having a plan, and just going with the flow because that way you cannot be disappointed. Uh, just gotta go meet my boys. That's, that's, that's all I want. But that's it. That's, you know, it's it's uh, having been someone who's who's hosted events, probably the hardest part of, of doing something like that in producing an event is being able to stage the unpredictable. So to be able to set the stage so that you may have. Um, so years ago, I ran an event called Gnome Dex in, in, in it ran in Seattle. It ran for about 10 years. And one of those years uh, uh, was God, 2007, I think, uh, a guy who had previously just been an attendee got involved with 3D printing. Now, this is 2007-ish, 2008, Brie Pettis, uh, so MakerBot, Brie, I think that was his thing, MakerBot, uh, uh, Brie Pettis. No one had, at this point, no one had heard about 3D printing. So he had a 3D printer up on stage, and everyone was just like, 
what? What? And even I was just going, like, okay, that's kind of curious. Uh, like, <laughs> what, what are you supposed to do with that? Well, you can print things. I'm like, why would you do that? Like, why would you do that? Like, but in doing that, I mean, first of all, so that was my my brush with my first brush with 3D printing was uh, at an event that I produced, having invited a participant, Bree on stage to show this this huge thing and i was i was fascinated by it uh, but not enough that you know it was like okay i don't know if this is necessarily for me uh but still the the best part of the the event was never what was happening on stage it was everything that was happening in the hallways all the conversations or the 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 the, the, the conversations that happened at parties or at the bars or after the event so ultimately yeah. You go to events not to go to the event necessarily. Yeah, you go to meet but people. You go to talk, meet people. Talk with them. Talk. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's very exactly. true. That that I mean, was the I said part. many times I want to come to, for example, to Earth. I mean, right? Do you do you actually think I'm gonna go and enter a plane and fly to USA to just look at a printer? Right. I, mean, <laughs> I already seen them. I mean, yeah, they're printers. They print things, but I'm just gonna go meet the people. That's the point. Right. Uh, printers are printers. Well. <laughs> Liz, Liz has been nudging me to 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 do something here in the Pacific Northwest in the Seattle area. Uh, it wouldn't be an Earth or a Murph or anything, but that, but we've been we've been chatting very lightly. So we we may we may have to figure out how to get you over to the states to look at more than just 3D printers. So I'm not making any promises at all because there's make it fair. That's kind of it. Wouldn't I? Yeah, it would be like a I don't know. If, yeah, something like that. Um, but the, uh, you know, to me, it was always about people, me meeting people, connecting with people, connecting with people that you, you only know about through the screen and, and just in, in, in pressing flesh and, and like actually shaking hands. So, yeah. uh, yeah, it's, I'm not saying that it's going to happen, but Liz, uh, Liz says she likes to make things happen. Uh, so, uh, I, I, in, in, I'm not saying she's the boss of me. But uh, she she very much has her ear to the ground and, and knows that uh, there's something uh, there. You know what? You can just you can just start it as a virtual thing, and then move to that. I mean, you will see. You will scout. I mean, you will see how what interest there is. Right, you right, will see right. how many people will join. How good it's gonna be. I mean, if there's excitement and all, and then you can go. You know, say yeah, we'll we'll host it here. Uh, because the virtual thing is still going to be cool, you know? I yep. mean, we, we even, uh, during this COVID thing, we've even, what's DC fandoms, you know? Right, online. right. Um, I'm sorry, I just took off my headphones. <laughs> Lots of accidents. So wait, Mike, that's okay. Tech, hey, <laughs> I had my camera go out, you have your headphones, we're even. We are even now. It's all okay. good. It's, it's a tie. It's a tie. Yeah. Which I'll never wear. I'll never wear. I hate wearing ties. So yeah, the virtual thing. Yeah. I don't think you're wrong. I because I mentioned something to Liz. I'm like maybe we can figure out how to do something like that. Where because with Maker Deck, as you know, there's no um, nobody's talking, right? And I've I've tried to be careful about that. But maybe you know trying like okay, maybe we'll schedule out like a Saturday or Sunday, and we'll have a schedule of events. We'll say at you know it will everybody's still making right there's still things that are being made but then two people have audio and they're just having a conversation like you know me and you or or uh, crusty and, and liz you know just people yeah, with the, yeah. you know a planned a schedule of events but all virtual uh so we, it, it's it you you your 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 mind works a lot like mine as well cuz i said the same thing to liz i think a, a virtual event first which i'm glad that people have legitimized virtual events because virtual events are a heck of a lot easier to produce. Yeah. And you can't do events. without them anymore, you know, with yep. all this thing that happened, but, uh, yep. now we're used to them. Yep. Okay. I yep. know we're sick of zoom calls and everything, but, yep. um, I mean, it's also in a way even better because some people will not be able to come to the States. Right. Right. Lots yeah. of people, lots of people will a not be able to come to the States. Yep. So if, the first event it would make a lot of sense to be virtual uh that would be if we if we did anything it would probably be that it would probably be a, a virtual kind yeah, of uh, makes sense. experience uh we just i just don't know you know what that is right i don't know what that okay what is 
it's kind of like even even setting up a, a Twitch channel is like, well, for this, like I'm just chatting. I'm just me. It's my face and, 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 and talking with with chat or different people. But setting up a different Twitch channel, like like Maker Deck, is like, well, what what makes it different? What is the thing that that people do people want it? Is this something that people are going to be interested in? Is this something, you know, what's that hook? What's the thing that makes it work? What's so, the thing that makes it There's always the risk work? to fail, of course. Okay? Right. I mean, you could do it and nobody joined. But, yep. I mean, you had a thousand followers from the first month. So that means something is happening. People you know, like it. I think that uh, it's, uh, uh, it's something that becomes... You know, it, it, in, especially in the early days when you don't know what it is, you just, you look at when it comes to, let's see here, when it comes to um, germinating or, or basically you're planting the seeds or it, like in gardening, right? You've got to, you've got to add water and you got to make sure it gets sunlight and you've got to make sure that it, it, you know, it's, it's done and planted in the right soil. And there's in many ways, setting up something like that takes, you know, just, just the same amount of careful crafting, but also the ability to change like when something needs to change to pivot and, and to modify when something could work better and, and to always uh, adjust so this is just the beginning i mean you don't know you still don't know what it is you have nope. no idea you no have idea. no idea it could end no up idea. completely different in a year you, you have no idea yeah, you have no I, idea I, i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna write it as as far as i can write it all the way in uh, because it, it, I mean, not that I needed any, I, not that I had spare time, but, you know, I've always, uh, you know, looked to be a part of something bigger than myself. So it's, it, that's, you know, apart from working for somebody, uh, because I do have a day job, um, having been independent before, uh, that allows me to tap a different part of my brain or really kind of gives me the ability to experiment, you know, more than I could have otherwise, because I have yeah. the latitude, right? Because if I have a day job, that's paying the bills, that's covering things. Uh, then it's the question of, well, how else, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? What am I going to do with this extra time? Uh, what do I yeah. want to build? What do I want to, what do I want to build? And I, I like building relationships. So that's my, that's my, you know, stopping day job is very, you know, <laughs> it can be really stressful yeah I, I did that yeah i did that and it was the first months was like i was dying you know it was like is this gonna work is this is it not gonna work am i gonna go back to a job that's even worse than the previous one if i fail right oh i'm so glad this is gone <laughs> i'm so glad man this is gone this was this was hell this was hell seriously and See, you uh, honestly all the people that right now are trying to do the same I really, um, if 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 I can uh, give a suggestion or uh, you know, my own Please. experience, yeah, is that you have to be seventy percent sure. I'm not going to say hundred because if you want to be hundred percent sure, you will never stop the day job ever. But right. if you set a, a first goal and you do it simultaneously, okay. If you if you set the first goal and you you all you want to do is to reach the money you make from the day job then you cut the day job and then you go full throttle on the new thing and then magic happens because then you're committed to your own job not someone else's job right that keeps yeah. you like yeah. a slave you know yeah. for nothing yeah but yeah. if you start you know if you manage to do that i mean i don't you don't have to go exactly at the same salary okay you can just we're people you you can do with less but if you manage to do that, then you can just be 100% for yourself. And right. that's freedom. Right. It's very stressful. Okay. There's no guarantees. Oh, yeah. There's oh, yeah. nothing. But if you manage to do that, then you're, you're like that. You, you, have your, you have your life in your own hands. And you know, it's I... very stressful. It's very uh, exciting. And uh, yeah, I know things can go wrong, but still, if you will never know if you don't try it. I was a chicken for all my life. I never done it before. This was my first. This thing was my first own thing. All my life, I was an employee. All my life until I was thirty-three years old. Not thirty-three, until I was two thousand three years ago. Until I was thirty-six. So, 
three years ago. Okay. That <laughs> yeah. was my next question. Yep. Yeah. Until until I was 36, I was always an employee. And suddenly you just realize you can do things for yourself, you know, not for someone else. And right. that's priceless. That's priceless. So I went uh, the other direction that you did. I, I was independent for 22 years or whatever. And had I had different stresses. Uh, than I have now and realized that I I hit a certain, I hit a ceiling with what it is that I could do, what it is that I wanted to do, how the industry was then, uh, and it's still very much changing, uh, and, and, and thought, well, I'm going to try to be an employee for a little while. Let me see how it goes. And it's not without its stresses, but it, it has given me, believe it or not, and I say this after having 20 years of being independent, it's given me different freedom than I had before, uh, and, and and no, I do not, uh, I do not want to be an employee for the rest of my life. Uh, I don't think anybody would would necessarily want that. But I still had that question of, you know, when people asked what I wanted to be when I grew up, or what it was that I did, or what about retirement? I never thought about retirement. I was just enjoying what it was that I was doing, and honestly. Um, uh, you know, for years I had a thing that I thought was going to take me into retirement. Uh, ultimately, it tur turned out that 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 wasn't the case. Maker Deck, I believe, like I said, has good problems. I don't necessarily know what that how that what that spells for the future, but I feel I, there's something there that I could latch onto and enable and and allow myself to uh, give it the time it deserves to have it flourish and relationships and, and possibilities and, you know, above and beyond what it might, you know, seem to be on the surface. So I'm not saying maker deck is my retirement plan, but I, otherwise I really don't have a retirement plan. I don't know what we, I'm going to do. We all have retirement plans in the back of our heads. Come on. <laughs> well, but like, we, what about, what would I do have. with my time? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I could not, you will I'm keep not... doing that. You know, what's my dream? You know, I mean, I, at some point what I want to do is just go live on a Greek Island with flip flops all day, open a bar, be drunk all day, and sell souvenirs. You could do it. You could do it. My own souvenirs, okay. But yes. I, I want to be, you know, independent to just right. do it, you know, without caring. That's that's my retirement plan. Yep. But still, man, I, uh, like you said, it depends on the day job. I mean, yep. your day job is in Intel. My my previous day job was in. A I don't want to even talk about it, okay? So, if I go back to that, it's you know, it's way I I, <laughs> I don't do want to think I, I don't want to think do about it. it. Seriously, I don't want to think about it. I you know, I, so I I let me I I, I gotta say I'm I'm uh, I'm grateful that you found your way to independence, and I'm grateful that what it is that you create have have has brought so much. What you have created is not just a digital file are not just these objects you've created joy <laughs> you've created joy like that not everybody has a chance to to say that and and, and i you know i don't i i think that's how i perceive well, i want to add that you've done i want i want to add that this thing would not happen without all these people mm -hmm. yep i owe everything everything to every single person that gave me even one dollar I owe everything to them because I, I, yeah, okay. I give back, but it doesn't matter if you give back, if, if, if you don't find the people to support you, that that's what's the point. Yeah. So these people really helped me to achieve a silly dream. Actually, if you think about it, I had no experience. I had no knowledge or I, like I said, you know, two days ago, I, I couldn't, you know, um, I couldn't tell the difference between a Picasso and a car crash. So, yeah, it's a silly. I mean, when I started that, they were like, you're going to be an artist. Are you kidding me? Right. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, I have no experience. I got no clue what I'm doing. But without these people, if I, they would still laughing at me, you know. But those are the best uh, dreams because like. Yeah, but the yeah, but depends on many things. You know, it also depends on the on the place you're in. You're in the USA. 
here saying, well, if, if I tell I'm an artist, I'm like, <clears throat> you're kidding me, right? <laughs> <laughs> so culturally, you're saying it was a it was as, as much of a challenge. It means that culturally. you're not making any money. I mean, uh, okay. if you nobody knows you, then pff, who you are. Uh, it, there's a lot of you know factors to this thing. You know, just to make this first step to go away from what everybody else does, just to, to leave a job or to even not start a business like everyone else. You know, open a cafe, open a supermarket, open a restaurant. Everything different you do, it's weird, and you're instantly a loser <laughs> in people's eyes. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Yeah, what? Many people had no idea what I'm doing, so we're like, yeah, okay, he's just talking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. Who, who's got the last laugh? You have the last laugh. Who's, like Joker said, who's laughing now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, or as Joker always, he also says, like, do I, do I look like a guy with a plan? Uh, oh, this is the other Joker. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. my Joker. My, sorry, yeah, my that's Joker mine is too. Heath Ledger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. mine too. Yeah, I, we, in fact, what you were, what, what, what was it? We were chatting about that too. When was it? You, you, I think, I think. Oh, I, you I said, I heard that like, you don't like, I don't, I heard that you don't like the Nolan trilogy. Nolan, you're like, yeah. You're, you're my enemy now. No, <laughs> no, I know. I was like, no, what do you mean? No, I, the Nolan trilogy, I didn't like the new, the Batman, but like, I, it was okay. It was, it was good, but like the Nolan trilogy, specifically um, the one with, with Heath Ledger as, as the Joker was just. Man, I just, I seriously like if someone were to ask me, you know, you know, point me to like one of the best, um, what what you feel is is you know not just best actor but like best character it's portrayal, the best, best superhero movie every, ever. Just, yeah, it was so it was done Period. so well. And I'm not a DC fan. I'm not like you know I, I um I I mean I'm I I'm a fan of the comic stuff and and I'm more Marvel than I am DC. I like fantasy and sci-fi, you know, Lord of the Rings uh, um, stuff. Um, looking forward to that on, on Amazon coming up here, at least in the States. Uh, and then uh, uh, like uh, um, that kind of genre, right? I, I like that stuff, but like um, sci-fi, all that. But I would never have imagined liking a DC superhero movie until the Nolan trilogy. And I just, there was just, there was just something about it. I'm even, so I'm even worse than that. I'm not a DC fanboy. I'm a Nolan fanboy. Oh, <laughs> you know, so that's you're, the you're, problem with me. You're biased then automatically. You're biased. Definitely. Don't ask me about Nolan movies. I will tell you it was excellent, except Tenet. I still don't get it. I, yeah, I tried Tenet and I got, I think Nolan doesn't get Tenet. Well, then that makes sense because I didn't get it and I didn't, I didn't watch it. I did not finish it. I got 75% of the way through. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, no. I, yeah, I'm like, mm. <laughs> yeah, not for me. I know. I just, I, there's certain shows, um, like, I, uh, the expanse I've joked about. I tried getting through the expanse. I can't do expanse. Tenet is one of the very few movies that I've watched most of the way through. They're just like, you know, I have zero interest in finishing this. Um, I, I, just, I got to be honest. It's like I, I watched it because people said, oh, yeah, you should watch it. And I did. But it was like, eh, it wasn't my thing. It was like, no, no, no. I mean, uh, he has so much better movies. That one is, you know, he's typical. He's classic Nolan. He just want to do his thing. He doesn't care if you like it or if you, even if you understand it, even just a little bit. He'll just do it. That's that's what I like in him. Yeah, you know. Well, I mean, Dunkirk, freedom. Dunkirk, Dunkirk. Nobody spoke in the whole movie. <laughs> it was excellent, though. Okay, that, that's that's his photography. That's that's his brilliance. I don't know if I saw. Did I see Dunkirk? Was that? You should. I think I did. I think I saw it. That was the. Uh, I'm trying. I'm struggling to remember. It was like. Oh, uh, where it World War II, and what was the premise again for Dunkirk? I can't, I can't remember if I saw it or another film that I thought reminded me a lot of what I thought Dunkirk was. I, I see that's the thing is I don't know, I don't know if I saw it. Well, once I again, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to look for it on, on one of the streamings when I get the time. To watch a show, never. I, I now I have no time. 
if I'm not doing <laughs> one thing, I'm doing something else or 13 different things. Um, am I, and, 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 and I by the way, exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, but the thing is, I think that's, if there's a secret to life is, is not just finding things that keep you busy, but also, um, fulfill you. Right. So like, you know, having, a, it's not just having a conversation. It's like this conversation is fulfilling because I, I, I'm getting to know you better. I'm chatting and I'm like you, having a conversation. I really, I really enjoy it. Seriously. I mean, I don't have the same questions all over again. You know, I mean, what software do you use? Right. <laughs> yeah. This you, is, you, but I, this is always, yeah, this is always, we go very, you know, I mean, their interviews are good. We go very deep in what I do and stuff, but. Here I'm just we're just hanging, you know, we're just hanging and having a chat. And it's that's, a Twitch that's thing. What I, that's what I'm just, yeah, just yeah. chilling, just like hey, you know, we're just we're hanging out. We're on a sun. Well, for me and for us here on this coast, uh, the West Coast of 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 the USA, um, or at least America, uh, it's it's morning. So it's like, or I'm sorry, now it's afternoon. We're just past noon, and so you would be 10 p.m. your <laughs> 10, time. Yep. Ten. Yeah, yeah. I need another drink. Ten. Wow, <laughs> that that you, that that that'll, that'll put you to sleep. That that that'll, no, that'll definitely no, put you to sleep. No, no. It's it's light. It's more tonic than gin. Don't worry. See, I uh, <laughs> uh, I used to have a problem where if I had like one beer, I'd be done. I'm like, I'm so tired. Like, I can't. I like one Ooh. beer. I'm like, hey, that's it. I'm out. <laughs> so I, I was I was a lightweight in that way, uh, but uh, now I mean. Um, it's it's a good way to unwind. I could not drink. I of course in the morning. I could not. I could not share a drink with you at my time. I, I have to stick to the uh, the decaf coffee and the uh, club soda. Uh, otherwise, I don't be... drink coffee. There's no problem in that. Uh, I drink lots you, of coffees. Could you have coffee though this late? No. Yeah. See, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I don't think so. This late. Well, it depends. If I have to stay up until six, yeah, I will have another coffee. If what do you Definitely. mean? If you had Four had to. Under what condition do you need to stay up? Like, why would you need to stay up? I have to finish. Oh, of, of course. So, so you you drive through. You can't. It's always in your head until it's out. You have to finish. See, you I made I, a promise. You have to finish. I Done. couldn't do it. More power to you. Yeah. I'm like period, my body. Period. I I you know I I used to be I used to be that way. Like I I could not get up from a task until it was done, and. I just realized I'm like, yeah, I, I, I couldn't do it. I, the older I got, the more my body kept saying, no, nope, this is, you can't do that anymore. No, nope, you remember that? No, nope, it's going to hurt you now. <laughs> and so things hurt me. My body, my body has a way of reacting to those, uh, those circumstances. No, seriously. I mean, if I, if I tell this month, I'm going to give you this, 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 and this, right, and right, right. I find an excuse by the end of the month and say, oh, my hand hurts. So you promised it, right? Well, I, I'm a big believer in under promising and over delivering. So, no, that's I just me. promise whatever I think I can deliver. What, what you can do, and then you, what's well, a good reason? I a good don't way to over. I, I I will never tell you I'm gonna give you Wait. twenty, and I can give you ten. I will Wait, tell I, you I will give you five, and you will get five, and sometimes you maybe you're gonna get six, but Wait. not four. Did did I did I say under promise and over deliver? I hope I said that. Oh, now I'm second guessing myself. I hope I said it the right way. Uh, I, don't remember. I, I hope I did. <laughs> if not, oh, I screwed up. Uh, no, well, it's it's live. It's 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 live. I can edit it later. Uh, I okay. I did say it right. Thank you. This is why it's good to have chat at your back uh, <laughs> there. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm always I'm always busy, but with I try to stay busy with things that I not just that I have to do, but that I want to do. So as long as you're doing the things that you want to do, it's a great way of spending time. It's an amazing way of spending time. Yeah. Sometimes you're tired, of course, but it's worth it. Okay. You have a mission, you know, yeah. soldier. Yeah. Although I was never, <laughs> I, was, I was never a soldier. Never did that. More I did to that those for a year. Really? Uh, well, it's, it's not an option here to not do it. You have to go for a year. So yeah, I did that. I it wasn't my best time, you know, <laughs> but I did that. You know, I hate these things, but you have to do it. Unfortunately, uh, you have. 
Yeah, I think uh, there's n there's nothing here, at least right now, uh, that that's a, a prerequisite. It may very well happen, though, at some point. It may happen. So, Have you ever uh, uh, um, had a chance, then, to... <sighs> Has anybody ever challenged you to, to do a model that you hadn't done before or that you wanted to do but what weren't sure how to do it as in oh you mean to to try to do something and not to actually manage to make it right this happens uh well now uh, there's no problem in doing things you know it will finish i mean sooner or later i have the skill to to finish it but <laughs> in my early days, you know, you wanted to to do something and you were, well, I would finish it, but it would take me three weeks or something. It was crazy. You know, the, the eyeballs were hanging on the keyboard and shit, but <laughs> I was, I was, you know, endless hours on it. The only thing that this thing happened, it was actually, it was in the worst scenario ever. It was the month where my daughter was born, I had, I said, I was going to do vision. I did Cthulhu. I did all that. And I said, I'm going to do Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. I mean, right now I want to delete it. I have it in Patreon. Some like it. Some say it's, it's absolutely horrible, but I hate it because I just released it because I could not release it. Because I had a post month, I had a baby right. that was ten years old. There, ten years old. That's a big baby. Ten, ten, <laughs> ten days old, okay. And I just have to finish it. That face. I, I mean, I told my wife, if Elizabeth Olsen came right now to my house and tell me I love you, I will punch her in the face and throw her out of the window. You know, I couldn't see that face one more time you know i i had 25 save files i was trying to shape it all the time it wouldn't happen it would just not happen so this is the only thing that really you know it was my limits i was this close to say guys i can't do it i did it it's not like i want it to be but oh my god <laughs> I don't want to remember that thing, Chris. Seriously. Well, <laughs> it I mean, was so, a nightmare. But but how do, then how you you as an artist, how do you deal with that? Like do, do would you be able to go back, I mean, iterate, right? And, and say, oh, here's a version 2.0. Would that would I that would start effectively from scratch. Yo, all right. I mean, but that you know, is that feasible for you in your in, in your style and your approach and how you see it is that feasible for you to be able to do a you know i feel now i could do it differently and and do it the way that that i feel it needed to be done first of all uh you know everybody has that i mean even if you look at your old videos you will say oh my god what, what, the hell, what, what Dude, was i doing like last uh, week i'm saying that yeah <laughs> yeah exactly um you don't go back oh my god Give me a second. Headphones. Oh. Well, yeah. Uh, you don't go back to an old uh, sculpt and just try to fix it. Okay. It will never be. It, you, it will, you will only make things worse. You just start fresh. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you just start fresh. You can't do that. I mean, you can do that with some more uh, not so organic things, but... If, for example, you try to do likeness and go back to the same phase that you couldn't achieve it, there's no way. There's no way you achieve it. I mean, at, le at least for me, I don't know if anybody else can do that, but I can't. I have to start fresh. And the, the, the things that bug me the most is that the next time, it probably gonna, it's probably going to happen in the first 15 minutes. I mean, you spend a, a month the other time and you didn't achieve it. And the first 15 minutes of the second time you try it, you achieve likeness and then you move to everything else. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. It's crazy. Yeah. I guess, you know, there, there, you know, there've been times where, I mean, most of what I do though is, is like live. So if I screw it up 
there's no rewinding, right? You can't, you just got to, you, you do it and you move on or every day is different. You have to look at every stream that you do is just different. So even if you don't feel great about something that happened, you, the next one is you just forget about it, correct it, move on. Uh, yeah. But it's, there's nothing that really lives in, you know, permanence in that sense. I mean, apart from what, what it is that you've done, there's no file. There's nothing that, you know, it could be used from that point forward. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's that, but I, 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 there've been times where I've in writing, I've, I've, I've poured my heart out. I'm like, yeah, it's, I don't feel this. It's just not right. And then I have to, and then something happens and I screw it up and I can't find it. And I'm so mad because I put so much time into it. And so I redo it. And inevitably when I redo something like that, it's some, mostly it's better the second time it's better Yeah. because I, and I don't know. I, so the same thing. For me, the corollary for me, because I don't work with 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 sculpts the way that you do, uh, would be writing. I've I've done extensive writing in the past, and uh, that would be, uh, I guess, the closest thing that I would have to compare that to. It always feels yeah. bad when you lose that work, but like better because something better came from the the next effort. So yeah. I don't want to keep you, dude. Like it's like it, it is pushing into the evening hours. And we're we're a little over an hour, uh, in in I don't in mind chatting. It's so it's up to you, seriously. Uh, well, I know that. I mean, I, I I'm I'm watching chat too. There may be even some questions coming in from uh, uh from the uh, the peanut gallery of sorts, uh, watching, uh, and 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 feel. I mean, I haven't seen any direct questions necessarily come across. Uh, it's just been people going back and forth and back and forth which is just fine because it's that's exactly what we're doing is just going back and forth and back and forth do you uh can you uh uh tell us what you're uh, um uh what you're working on next or is that a top secret no it's it is announced i am making the the king of the dead from lord of the rings he is about Not, um, you know the king of the dead the one though is that the one with the the from, crown yeah the crown the ghost. The, the ghost Nos, guy. where the Nazgul surround the, they're the not the, the Nazgul ghost, but the, uh, the green ghost guys that Aragorn goes and finds and then you know I th yeah yeah all yeah. is fulfilled you know and whatever okay you yeah know, it's that is that king guy which I'm right now at ninety percent progress I mean I, I think I'm finishing him tomorrow oh okay <laughs> if I own a suit yeah I wore I wore one in my wedding. Yeah, I think I was. That, uh, that's it. I don't think. No, I wore one for my grandfather's funeral. I didn't wear one for my wedding. It was. It was just a, a casual shirt. No, I I, I. I was. Yeah, I, I had the suit and the tie and everything. I was. Pfft, yeah. You went all out. See, I didn't <laughs> go that far. Here's another question from Joshua. What's been the most rewarding experience you've had with 3D printing? The first thing I ever designed and printed. That's it. The, fir That's the it. first thing. Yeah, that feeling will never come again. <laughs> it was the best thing ever. I designed it. I printed it. And I got it in my and hand. There it is. Like, oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Hallelujah. It was it was unbelievable. The, the feeling was something else. I mean, I printed before that. And it was like, oh, OK, I printed something. But when you design something and you print it, it's it's all yours. It's all yours, except the filament. Someone else made right. That. Right. But still, <laughs> yeah. for the for the most part, it's it's something that uh, just the idea of taking nothing and turning it into something that the yeah, ideation it's... process. Yeah. That's you know, that I, I, I feel that don't worry about it. I like I like uh, I like the echo. Echoes are fun. You you have the Excellent. same problem that I do. My I, I use my hands a lot. I when use I my talk, hands, dude. Yeah. I, We've got. I I, stuff, trust me. I this there's a reason. I've got. I wear wired headphones too, and I I mean, first of all, you'd see the the little wire. But I, I I what I do is I like throw it back so that way it's like. And sometimes I'll even knock over the the mic in front of me too, and that's that's fun. So I that's feel the you there. About. This one has a small cable, and I forgot my extension, and it's here. So whatever I do, I will take the cable off. Nice. I, I see. I don't do the wireless stuff as much because then there's there's interference. So, um, yeah. Jerry, who's an educator here, uh, a teacher, uh, asks, where would you suggest one begin learning 3D modeling? Is there a particular website or course or software we should learn? 
Yeah, it depends. Uh, it all depends. If you want to do, uh... yeah, exactly, Bob. <laughs> you want if you want to um, make things. Stop showing me what Taro says. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, sorry. So, so the yeah. best place to to get started to learn, um... it, it always depends. I mean, if you want to do organic things uh, and you don't want to pay a lot of money, because I mean, I would not suggest you go find crack software here. Uh, if you want to start sculpting, for example, you want to do organic things. You may want to make figures. You want to make, uh, you know, things that are not CAD. You have you can go to Blender. And uh, you have all the options there to do whatever you want. You can do polygon modeling, you can do sculpting, you can do rendering, you can even do animation with that software. It's free, it's open source, and you can do anything. It has, it's not easy to learn. None of these software are easy to learn. But in YouTube, for example, you can find a lot, lots of resources to learn about Blender. There are some YouTubers that have very, very nice tutorials, you know, step by step. To learn the basics, to learn the controls, to start, you know, um, start understanding how this thing works. Because, you know, in the beginning, when you open these things, you're like, yeah, it's like when you first time you open Photoshop in 1990, whatever, <laughs> you don't understand what's going on. So, See, yeah, I don't, even, go, I don't yeah. even do Photoshop. It's like, I, oh, yeah, it's Photoshop is cool, it's easy. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you want to do more organic things, you can go to Blender. You can do whatever you want there. If you want to do more practical things, of course, you will go to CAD software. You will go to Fusion. You might go, I mean, if you, even if you want to start really basic understanding, you can go to Tinkercad like Papa Bear. Yeah, see, you know? uh, yeah, yeah. Papa Bear does it. Yeah, he taught, he showed me or he mentioned how to do, I need, I wanted to do something for, for Mother's Day. So it was a very simple like a coaster kind of thing. That's my level of like very simple. And then I'll figure out how to do other things around that as, as, as I'm sure uh, time marches on. So Tinkercad yeah. is my, that's very, that's where I need to be. I on mean, the Tinkercad this line. is just, you know, the base to understand the thing is to understand the basics that you can just make a square and extrude and make a, a square, uh, make a cube. And that thing you can export it and print it. Just the just to start, I, and I mean, I I'm not taking a Tinkercad as a joke or a kid's toy. I mean, I've seen people doing some amazing things in yeah. Tinkercad, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I can't even imagine. Okay, but uh, just start somewhere free, and you know, just try to get into this thing to to understand what this is and how it feels and everything. You can start there. Then you can go to Fusion which you can find, you know, the free version. Well, you can't make money from the things you make, but still, in order to learn, it's excellent. It's the best software there is. Mm -hmm. And after, if, if, for example, you want to do that as a, as a profession, of course, you will buy it. Right, Definitely. naturally. I, I have all cool. my software, but right. okay. you have to buy it because yeah, it doesn't make any sense to use crack software and make money from it. I mean, I don't like that. I really, I used to be a pirate when I was a when I was young. Okay, <laughs> but not anymore. You have to buy the software if you're earning money from it. Right. But yeah, Fusion, uh, you can do anything you want for practical printing. Mm. You can make from mechanisms to uh, from a single box to a, a car i mean it's you can do whatever you want still all the the resources are free you can find youtube is your friend on these things i mean for me personally i had some other resources that helped me a lot to advance from from one to three you know but it was paid uh, tutorials right, for example right. i went to gnomon workshop with you know gnomon it's it's school it's it's the okay. best school there is and there it wasn't expensive. It wasn't that much expensive. It was 50 a month or something. But there you could have tutorials from very advanced artists that went and you went step by step and you learn some stuff that you wouldn't find online. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you wouldn't find for free YouTube. Yeah. But 
just start youtube is your friend you will find so endless things endless things to, to just start and um learn the basics well after you learn the basics it's all up to you you will know what to do i you don't need me you don't need you anybody you will just know what to do after that you will keep searching if you love it of course if you don't love it you will forget about it See, that's the thing you gotta love it yeah. man you got if that passion's not there for what you do it's clear when you when you love yeah. something and when you don't it is very clear We've got another question. Fix him, dude. Uh, do you ever wish you could branch out into different areas, but feel like the fans keep you in a certain space? So do you feel like you're doing things because you know your fans, your supporters want that? Or are you still very much dictated? You know, I want to do that, and that's what I'm going to do. Do you feel that you could? Oh. You wish you could branch out from that? I know why Fix him, dude asks that. <laughs> it's definitely... He knows what's happening. I mean, it's not it's not a secret. People will prefer fan art. Definitely prefer fan art. I always, I mean, if you, I don't know if Wexer is still here. I always want to do only original stuff. I mean, stop fan art entirely. Stop doing Marvel. Stop doing Star Wars. All all this, all that stuff, and just do my thing. But uh, after all, after three years, I can't just, you know, turn my head and tell people, yeah, I'm done with that bye bye so you, you can't you can't do that you, you might wanna you might wanna uh try to balance it okay i i, I try to balance it i lately i try to do a couple originals and some fine art you know i i also want to increase the originals even more because honestly this is what i enjoy most right but uh yeah you can't just go like the bats and yeah, yeah see yeah i'm just doing this now it's also a risk you can lose all your following <laughs> i mean who am i kidding but uh i'm also i'm also one i also want to do other stuff i mean it's not only patreon i mean i we we, we right now we're uh preparing some casting i mean i made i made a piece that we will cast it and uh do resin kits and we will try to sell it i, I mean I, I want to try to sell it there's not going to be stl about that not anything it's going to be a limited thing and i'm going to try to put it out there this is a side thing well it's good you i mean you can keep what you're doing and do a side thing i mean nobody's going to say to you why did you do a side thing I mean, right right <laughs> i mean come on it's my it's my thing but uh yeah there are many things i would like to do besides that but patreon is something that you can't really do a hundred percent what you want you will do a lot you will do lots of things that you want but you also need to think about the people because it's all about the people it's not about you right you really have to make them happy well, yeah, I don't make things happy all the time. They suggest things and I'm like, nope. Yeah, <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> but yeah, I try. I try. I try. See, I, I try I, to do my best. But... I think, like I said, I'm going to, you're echoing in many ways kind of what I was referring to earlier. I just got to a point where what I was doing just wasn't interesting to me. And, and I, you know, people could sense that. Like people would ask me questions that they think is routine. Like, hey, what do you think of the latest iPhone? I'm like, I, I don't care. Hey, what do you think about, I, I, I don't care. I just had, there's not enough care in the world to, to, to tell you, I just don't care. And so I understand that, that inherent need to want to branch out, but also that stress of knowing you're going to potentially lose, um, you're going to lose everybody else. I had something like that happen. I did vlogging for, for a while. I did personal vlogs for like how many years, six years. I can't know. I can't remember how long I did these just personal videos every day. I've recorded not live. It was pre record. It was recorded and do, doing these little stories and they were, it was fun to do, but it was radically different from what I had done before, like radically different. And yeah. I learned a lot doing that. I, I found I enjoyed it, but ultimately, you know, even that was like, yeah, I don't know if this is it. I don't know if this is what I need to be doing. I don't know if this is this is is uh, is working the way that I wanted. But I'd never seen people. I'd never done anything 
quite like it with content that 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 elicited so much positivity. Like a lot of the tech stuff that I used to do, it was like people liked it, but it, there was it was just negative, 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 hate, 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 hate. Like if you don't talk about, you know, <laughs> you're talking like like Blender versus ZBrush or whatever. And imagine that, like no Blender's better, no ZBrush is better, no Blender, no ZBrush. And I know they're different and different tools for different reasons, but you still have those acolytes, those supporters who just like want to turn it into a war. And I just got tired of it. I got sick and tired of it. That doesn't Google make any Apple. sense to me. Just, it, it well, it doesn't make any sense to me either. And ultimately. I just, I said, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I mean, I'm a Zebra's fanboy. What did I say earlier? Did I said you will go to Zebra's or nothing else? No. <laughs> you, you, what's what's the point? I mean, I'm not earning money from Zebra's. You know, I don't own right. it. So why right. fanboying like that? That that doesn't make any sense to me at all. It's 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 toxic, and I just found that with tech. I just, I was done with it. I'm like, I'm just, I don't, I'm not interested. And I didn't have enough of an interest to keep going with it. So I'm, I'm grateful to have found something that's somewhat tech related. I mean, hardware, yes. I'm not a hardware guy at all, but 3D printing has been fun. The act of making has been fun. Supporting other makers has been fun. Seeing what other makers are doing has been fun. So I found, uh, you know, and that may change, right? What you, what you're satisfied with may change, but I don't, I do understand I really understand not wanting to burn the bridges with the people that you've been giving things to, that you've done things for with that, with such a radical uh, 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 pivot. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to do that, just do a different thing. Right. But keep the first one. I mean, right, right. just do a second thing. See, I couldn't do that. Uh, I couldn't. The side thing. Yeah. But I couldn't do it. Like you, I think you have the ability to do it because you're sculpting, but like I couldn't do it. I could not drum up enough interest in a phone to carry a conversation or to be, yeah. be, I just couldn't, I could, I physically couldn't do it. It would make me sick to my stomach. Like, I don't want to yeah. do this. This is stupid. This is boring. I don't care. And I would treat it that way. And then like, people were like, why don't you care? Because I don't, I genuinely do not care. Don't care. And so it was I very understand. hard for me to do. Yeah. It was very hard for me to do. And ultimately I just, I, I, I just couldn't do it anymore. So I had to make it. That was for my, for my own mental health i had to do things differently my for my health um and and Kratone here says i've always been of the thinking want to ruin something you enjoy do it for a job now i know there are exceptions but i don't think the exceptions are the norm but you i don't think you what you do is not it's not a job you just enjoy doing what you do am i wrong photos i enjoy it but it also pays the bills right so it's a job. right I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it is a job. I mean, yeah, I really like it, but it's a job. Is that? Do you feel that that's going to? Does that get in the way of the actual act of creating, knowing yes. that it's a job? It does. Yes. Yes. If I did that like I did it before I leave my day job, who knows? I might be making way different things right now. Way oh, different yeah. things. Yeah. Well, you, I mean, you know, I could make, for example, I would, I, I could be an abstract artist right now, making weird things, doing NFTs, whatever. I don't know, but it's it doesn't work that way. Right now, it's the thing that pays my bills. So you have to be consistent. You have to make people, you know, to give people, to give back to people. You have to right. tell them what you're gonna give them before you give it to them right so yeah I, i i can't just wake up one morning right now and say oh i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna do that well that doesn't that guy didn't join me for that join you for that others do it different okay but me when i say i will do that i will do that <laughs> i'm not gonna change it even if i had the best idea i will just try to do that as an extra then replace what i promised so this whole thing kind of interferes with you know the creative thing you know i mean one morning you might feel oh this is a good idea but you put it aside because you have to finish that one first yeah and sometimes yeah. you even forget it that you had that idea because you didn't read it down so yeah it it interferes not 
that much, but it it does. It does. When it's a job, it does interfere. Yeah. Well, speaking of interfering, I I have to hit the restroom. I had like I had I look look at my my here's it's not gin and tonic. <laughs> I it's not, not far from it. It's just club soda. Uh, okay. That's that's gonna interfere. But I figured we could we could we could start winding down, uh, and and raid into Maker Deck. Uh, okay. That's, that's the, that would be the plan. Um, yes. That on these on these Sunday uh, morning, inter- well Sunday morning for me, um, you know these these you know d- to give a chance to to talk about three D printing with with other people in the community, the greater huge community. Um, but I, I do want to I I, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for the time. I want to thank you for the conversation. Um, thank you for doing. No, what I want to thank do. you, man. Yeah, it was very nice. No, it's been it fun very to. Nice to have you here. It's been it's been fun to, to to go back and forth on a variety of things, uh, you know, in, in our in our chats. So uh, no, it was uh, and 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 look at that. So th- this was nice. This this is the this is what <laughs> uh, this. I think it's a great way of saying it. This was nice. This was good. It was it was nice. Yeah, it was che- you know it was relaxing for me. You know, good. I just had a chat. Yeah. Good. It should be because that's the the idea. Like doing these kinds of like having these conversations, it should never be, never be a, a stressful or a strain at all. Especially when you're just talking to somebody. That's why I don't like I don't like I don't in, I don't do interviews. I'm just I, I just let's just talk. Let's see where it goes. Let's see what happens. So I appreciate you uh, taking the time, and I'm glad that we were able to uh, connect after all this time. Anytime, Ultimately. man. I mean, even even if. If you want again, I can, you know, I can jump in and anytime you want, okay. you know, yeah, in no, for sure. Three, four years. Yeah. It, we, <laughs> you know, honestly, I mean, it, it, it is feasible. Uh, and if anybody, you know, again, Photos Mint uh, on, is on Patreon, active on Twitter. You'll see Photos Mint very frequently on Maker Deck, like interacting with people. You've also popped into this channel's chat. Uh, so I became, I became a Patreon, a patron of yours this past week. Cause I, like I said, it's like, wow. You're, you're, you're on Maker Deck organically. I'm like, dude, all right, I'm going to be a pa- I'm a patron now. I did the same thing for Wexter too, <laughs> by the way. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm like, you know what? All right, we're, we're good. This is good. I don't even need to print all the models. You, just got, you only had to go to Wexter. Why did you come to me? Because I I had to. I had to. I can't do okay. that for everybody, unfortunately. But uh, <laughs> uh, no, thank you. From a, from a patron uh, who just enjoys your presence. No, thank you, uh, man. Seriously. Is, thank it, you for your it's support. Awesome. It's I really appreciate it. And that's I thank awesome. you to everybody that's in the chat that's supporting me, you know, every month. It's it's my fuel, you know. I can't do it without them. There's no meaning without them. So yeah, thank thank you everybody. Uh You're and all I know great. and they're thanking you just as much. Uh so we're gonna start uh I've 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 initiated the raid command. It's gonna be weird for you and I, Photos Mint, uh, because we're using uh a, 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 a we're using a, a the same we the same thing we use for Maker Deck. We're using StreamYard. That's how we coordinate things. So mm-hmm. the everybody in the Chris Perillo Twitch channel, I'll be back again tonight at 6 p.m. for my normal stream. This video, uh, this conversation is going to be uploaded to my YouTube channel, which by the way is is even though I've got like a few subscribers there, it's dead. Like my YouTube channel, unfortunately, because <laughs> YouTube is not as much fun as Twitch. Uh, but I'll be back on Twitch. We're raiding into Maker Deck. If you're not already following Maker Deck. Please do. Uh, we're on our way to partner. Uh, you can leave it open 24-7 if your internet connection is good and if you've got a second screen. Uh, it's a it's a perfect, uh, Maker Deck is the perfect second screen kind of experience. You don't have to listen to it. You're just watching people make. It's a great way to to relax and interact. So thanks again, Photos Mint, uh, for being here. It's very appreciated. Thank you, man. Seriously, thank you. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. And theoretically, I pressed the raid button and... Theoretically, yes, MakerDeck has now been raided. Yes, it works. Awesome.